Mr. Lazo, will you please stand up? Counts one and two for willful killing as a grave breach of Geneva Convention for guilty of willfully causing great suffering or serious injury to body or health. For willfully causing great suffering or serious injury guilty to of body. a grave breach of Geneva Convention for torture. And a, violation, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, torture, and a violation of the laws or customs of war, murder. The trial chairman sentences you as Atlanta to 15 years imprisonment. I think so. Hmm. This is me when I was in school, first year of my school, I think. I just cannot believe that in this boy is that monster that become laid. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I just cannot believe. I don't see any anything on this face that evilness that I show in war just doesn't exist there. It was not there. You know, I want to cry, but I cannot. You know, something is stopping that. Zašto ti pričam? Zato što hoću sebi da pomogne. Jer znam da ste čuli sto hiljada priča, vjerovatno, a nikad niste čuli od mene. Sad ovako razgovaram, ja sebi pomažem, olakšam sebi, a i vama da me bolje razumijete. Sve što i piše, sve te tamo čeka. Sve ćeš odgovarati. Sve ćeš odgovarati. Nema kuranja. A ja opraštam od mene sve što je što zaradio. Neko, šta će odgovarati? Ona je ubio stotinu pa pet godina. I znači, on je odrapio sve to, za sto ljudi. No, I didn't see my parents for almost three years, so it will be very exciting for me and important, of course, to see them. Maybe my parents blaming self more than I could blame them. You know, I don't know. I, I just want to see when we start to talk what they think. That is my biggest mistake in life. That I didn't believe in God. That was something that I never forget to myself. Because I saw people who, you know, who are believers, who are religious. They never do anything wrong. But, you know, me is different. When you don't believe in anything or anybody, you only be, believe in negativities. That is wrong. But I was afraid. And when people get afraid, very afraid, they do stupid things and crazy things. May 1990, Maksimir football stadium, Zagreb. Dinamo is playing Crvena Zvezda. The meet between the Serbian and Croatian rivals turned into a war between their fans. It anticipated the nationalistic politics already prepared in Belgrade and Zagreb. This is neighbor against neighbor who lived together for a thousand years. 
in the same village, in the same town. They turn that stone against each other that only, you know, propaganda can do. Nemojte da mislite da nećete odesti i Bosnu i Hercegovinu u pakao, a muslimanski narod možda u nestanak. Jer muslimanski narod ne može da se odbrani ako bude rat ovdje. That statement was so scary. That was first sign that war will come. To turn people, to start killing each other, you must put fear in them. The Serbs are the only ones who can do it. Together with the Serbs, and the only way that you can do, you cannot say he's thief. He will come during night and steal your TV from home. Muslimanski ekstremisti dosudili su se vajda najstravičnijeg načina mučenja na planeti. But if you say he's Chetnik or Ustasha, and he will come to slaughter your family during night. Protekle noći, srpsku nejad, žive su bacali u kaveze lavovina, u zološkom vrtu Zionitska dolina, vrti srpska straža sa kromolja. Of course that you will take weapons and kill anybody who come in on your step doors. And that is the kind of fear they put in people. It is them or us. When I joined the military, they told me you're going in this military barrack to be guard there. When we come in the prison camp, they put us in line. And prison commander came and he was going through line and deciding who stay, who go. All people that he chose to stay are 99% young people. Mm, there is no older than 20 years. People who can think with their heads, older people, I mean 28, 30 and the rest, they, he put them in bus and sent them back. They show us buildings where prisons are. I saw two soldiers beating some prisoners. He was sitting on box, one box, and one of them had a big knife in front of his head you know, threatening him. So this soldier took knife and he was keeping his hand like this and he hit him. He, you know, threw, put his knife through his hand and to the box. That is first time that I saw anything violent, that horrible. Then only then I realized what, where I am, you know. I was really scared. There is no line there in that prison. There is no line that you can cross because all line are across or immediately after you arrive here. Yeah, first beatings, then later come killings. Ah. This photograph, this was a small photograph in newspaper I find in one Bosnia newspaper. She was complete. She was all body picture. She was sitting on the street. I don't know where, but I don't know. The, just that expression of her face hit me so hard, so I decided to paint her. But if you look closely, you can see fear in her eyes. And she don't know what will happen to her today, tomorrow, you know. All that, I don't know. It just hit me so hard that I have to, to do, to paint. Something to, to remind me of, of everything. This is uh, my town before war. I miss this, I miss really this. You know, I start painting when I was in, when I start in the first day of school, I think. I received many awards for, you know, in competitions. After I finished school, my teacher encouraged me to go in art school. And I was prepared, you know, my father take me to Sarajevo, to art school, I request, put the request, you know, everything, but because there is another three brothers and one sister in my family, so my father couldn't afford. So I become really angry, depressed. 
I just want to do everything contra what my father told me. If he say don't do something, I will just do no matter what, just to despise him. Because I was angry with him. I couldn't understand that he was not able financially to help, to give me that chance. Muči ima ovo, rekao da sam... da je otišao, ne bi ga ovo snašlo. I da pati iza njih. To mi krizi. I to neću nikad ne prižaliti. Ali ovo ne bi pred njim rekla. And all this anger and everything I bring in the war. And that was... Dangerous combination, like atomic bomb. My mother never, never told me directly, but she heard during the time things that is happening there in that prison. She tried to stop me. She tried to give me positive advice, but I didn't listen. She cried in front of me. She tried to talk, to tell me, not to talk to me, but to tell me things that are happening there are not right. Please don't go. But I didn't listen. For me, it's more important my commander in prison than my father and mother. I was really surprised how fast I changed myself from one guy who wanted to be an artist, painter, to the monster. I was only two months there, and maybe 80% of killings during that time, orders are given to me to do the, all the things. They knew, you know, they probably felt that, that I'm missing something, so they knew anything that they told me to do, I will do. They will write names on the paper. When they saw me, they say, this man with legs in front tomorrow morning. That is something that comes from the you know, sense of duty, or, of obligation, of responsibility to your superior. To not let them down. I always thought if I refuse, my commander will be disappointed. They will look me like you are not good soldier, you are weak, you are, you know. So you are a human robber in some way. You have flesh, but you don't have mind. You just disconnect yourself. You don't have feelings for people that you're killing. Because if you have, you cannot do a job. You cannot be a soldier. I lost re contact with reality. I start to dream, dream of perfect human being, perfect soldier. I want to be a professor because I lost something that I like. Now I have this. I like uniform, I like weapons. People start to like me. I want to be a perfect soldier. And I put all my energy and all my concentration in that. I would do many, many things take gas mask put on head of prisoners and close when the air where air coming you close that and let them so he will start to you know dying and you watch him all white you know and come and mount because they don't have air you watch him he's you know on the floor trying to get here t uh, shaking the whole body start to shake and when you you know let him like that for a couple minutes so when you realize that he will go, that he will die, then you open for a couple of seconds that he get air. When he starts to getting air, you know, coming back to the conscious, then you close again. That's games without borders. Just play them how long you want, how many you want. And everybody can do things like that. You say, no, I cannot do that. How I can do that, you know? What, how, what kind of day I can find to torture? Oh, believe me. More that you learning about this world and things around you, you have more negative 
things in, in your mind. And when time comes that you let them out, fool. Krivje, kada moraš oprostiti, ja sam neko u nas, u Kuranu, čekaj, čekaj. Piše, ne vidna čovjeka ko ubije jednog ko da je pobio čita svijet. A zna to. To ne znam ja zna, ali ne zna. Moja je greška u svemu tome je bila... Ja samo ovo ti moram reći. Ja sam počeo da se mijenjam nakon one kad nisam mogo ići u likovnu školu. Tad je se kod mene sve okrenuo na opaku. Ti to dobro znaš. Da je meni ta sve pošla nisprto. Ništa nije bilo pozitivno. Ti znaš koliko sam sada puta s tobom posvađao. Znaš to je dobro. Pa nisi još kovali se vada po... Uzbog toga je meni sve nizbrdo otišlo. Ti znaš koliko sam onda bio, kakvom se stanju bio. Koji smo krenuli opet u negativu. Znaš, ja opet tebe ne krivim. Takva je meni možda sudbina. Loše društvo. Takva je meni možda sudbina bila da ja idem u tom pravcu. I sve to, ti si normalno... Svaki je čovjek. Ali niko ne traži od tebe da ti to kažeš. Niko ne. Ali ja ti kažem opet, lično za mene, više mi pomaže kad ti mene iskritikuješ po ovom pjeta, nego ako me pohvališ. Pa sigurno. Jer mene su hvalili oni u to vrijeme. Previše i ja sam radio ono što su oni... E pa je, ti moj sad da mene opterećivaš šta si ti, kako si radio, šta si radio. Ne, bolje. Ja ne bi želio ni da znam. I bolje, znaš kad... Ne želim da znam, roditelji, rodite, svako, svake... A i bolje da ne znaš. Only good leadership can prevent crimes. People should always be punished for crossing line. But it's better to prevent than wait for people to cross line. Even crimes like I did, it was possible to prevent them in war. If you have responsible people who are leading with conscience, with understanding, with passion for life. My problem was that wrong people lead me. They turned the picture ups, upside down. That was problem. You displayed no remorse before this trial chamber. As deputy commander in the Celebrity prison camp, you were instrumental in creating an atmosphere of terror by your actions and your threats. My vision of soldier was my deputy commander because he was big, strong, without emotion, without sorrow, without pity. And of course, you want to be like him. You want to be recognized. You want to be just copy him in details. It appears that you took a sadistic pleasure in causing the detainees pain and suffering. If you see him beating somebody, you jump in. If you see him, he is killing somebody, you jump in. You abuse your position of authority and trust as deputy commander. By your actions, you encourage others among the camp guards to engage in their own forms of mistreatment of the detainees. He used that feelings that I have and that respect that I have for authorities and for him. He used that in a negative way. He could use also that in positive. He could turn me to be a very nice person, but he didn't. You see what kind of you see where I am now. I just copy him. 
in some way, you know. I tried to please him more than any, anybody else. That was a mistake that I did. He was crazy, I was stupid, and you mix two things, crazy and stupid, what you get? You get maniac. That is who I was. Se kako je bilo, sad je tu sto razloga drugih što sam ja to radio, ali ja sam to radio. I ja kao uvijek kažem, ja ću uvijek biti ponosan i uvijek će biti čast što sam ja branio svoju zemlju. To uvijek svima kažem. To mi, je, to, to mi niko ne može da... Ali nikad neću reći re, re, da sam ponosan ono što sam uradio dole. Thinking about all things that I've done and all people that are hurt, I do regret, believe me. Every day, every second of my life, everything that I've done. You know, I, I would like that I can take all back, you know, to go back in that time and do, do all differently. Pa kaže, nema, ja volim da čujem od njega neko da mi oni vam pokazuju nešto. 